gonna sneak up on him real Get out of your birds! <laughs> What's going on, everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. It is, um, what is it? Early autumn. Let's pop in here. Let's see what we've got going on. So, we can't harvest soybeans yet. However, we can't harvest corn either. Come on. <laughs> Darn it. There we go. Okay. So, there was a bit of an issue. I had four geos turned on at the same time i know what am i doing i don't know i can't explain it i'm an idiot that's all i can explain and i'm real good at explaining that we're back we've got everything back the way it's supposed to be finally we could do what we were gonna do today which is possibly soybeans not likely but possibly and corn and sugar beets oh man i'm so excited about that I actually turned this thing on. So we've got a header on here. We've got a nice corn header. We're going to jump in and we're going to try to get this done as quickly as possible. This field will still take us a good little while. However, we're going to be able to knock it down pretty fast. Let's take a look and see what our fertilization states are like. So in 8 and 16, we still need to add some fertilizer. But I will say this. We've got some growth there. And we've got some growth here. Take a look at that. Yep, it is growing. It's in its last stage growth and a little bit there as well. The only thing is we're going to have to take the harvest around all those areas, but that's going to give us some extra stuff at the end of it all. So that's kind of nice. So let's jump right in. It is harvesting. Oh, yeah. I've got a sneaky suspicion that this is not going to be a bad harvest. Not at all. So there's another issue that I am having that I'm still trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Maybe some of you guys can help me out. So let's go ahead and put this here. Let that go ahead and start undoing itself. So the sugar beets right here, right? We put down sugar beets. Getting them out is going to be easy, but we've got another problem. So if I go over here to the animals, right? To the pigs. There is no root crop thing. So that doesn't allow me to put root crop in anywhere. Well, that's a big problem considering that 5% of their diet comes from root crops. So I'm having a real hard time explaining that in my itty bitty little brain. I'm trying to figure out what exactly has happened there. And maybe if you guys have any ideas, you could share those with me. I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Um, let's go ahead and hire. There we go, hire a worker. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Oh, yeah, I've got it new header on here. Don't don't worry about it. It gets it done faster. Regardless, I still have to pay for it. <laughs> and um, yeah, no, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe there's a setting I don't have turned on or something. I don't know. Uh, I've went back and I've looked at different videos and mine's the only one I'm seeing that's like that. So maybe I'm overlooking something. Regardless, it doesn't say that I've got to give it to them. So I'm not going to give it to them. And there we go. Perfect. Fireworker. So I'm still in the process of hitting the headlands through here. I'm gonna try to do, let's see, two up and down the sides, I think is gonna be more than enough. However, the hole at the top and the bottom, I think we're gonna need more than just what we've got. More than just two. We missed a little bit. I think we're gonna need to do three headlands at the top and the bottom. Maybe that's just me thinking out loud. I don't, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and hit it because once, once we get this done, I'm going to hire a worker to do this. And that worker is not going to have a whole lot of fun if I send them up here doing this on their own. So I'm going to go ahead and hit these headlands by myself. Boom. There's that one. Nice. Raise up the header, spin it around and put it back down. Perfect. Nice. Also looked, we're not ready for soybeans yet. We've got one more day, I think. One more day, at least if the growth chart is correct. we got one more day until we can do that. So just keep that in mind. We're not going to be doing anything. There will be no deer corn today. Corn is mine, baby. Run number two is done. Very good there. Very good there. What I'm going to do here is I am just going to hire workers. And I'm just going to let the worker do this. Hopefully they don't make me look awful. These workers are going to make me look awful. I think it's pretty... I think we can assume that right off the bat. These guys are going to make me look bad. Nonetheless, I'm going to hire a worker to do this anyway. We've got one more fertilization to hit. Hopefully, 
This can do it without incident. Let's see. Oh, workers completed it. You think it's because it's in its, like, this state right here that it won't let me do it? Interesting. Was it allowing me? Hmm. I'm going to hit just a, a strip. Just like, that much. I'm going to see if it's showing. It is not showing. It ain't letting me do a darn thing. That is done. Worker is set on the cornfield, so I'm going to go ahead and focus on getting this cart done up. And we're going to take a look at some options for doing the sugar beads. Now, I believe that I know exactly what we're going to be doing. But just to uh, just to take a look, I think this is what we're going to use right here. The Grimmy, uh, the FT300, and the Rootster. Let's see, both of these are three meters. I think what we could do is stick maybe... That guy on the front, that's going to be a heck of a lot of fun, isn't it? How much horsepower? 185 and 85 horsepower. The only issue that I foresee is... Oops, I need to bump over to this guy right here. He is almost full. Let's go ahead and bump that right there. Perfect. The only issue I see there is this field is really tough to get in and out of. But any other option, I believe to be a little bit too expensive. Right? So, I think that may just be what we have to use. And we'll stick the thing on the front. And we'll cut the tops. And we'll go through like that. I'm also worried that we're going to completely destroy the crop. And normally, I would say, well, whatever, we'll just turn crop destruction off. But I want to try to get it done with the crop destruction turned on. Now, again, there are a few other options here. Of course, we can go into B technology here. We could take a look. But $19,000 to lease that piece of equipment right there. Well, then we go across. And we've got, well, zero, but we're not going to use that. Actually, we might use that. If you see that, you, you guys know what's up. It's it's one of those things. But I don't want to have to do that. I want to, because uh, then you're, there's just no reason to play. So, I'm thinking we try <laughs> to uh, try to go about it the other way around. I just don't want to run over the crop. Oh, well. Whatever happens, happens. Last bit of corn is coming up now. Boom, right here. I'm trying to take a look and see if there's anything that we can plant, but... I think we're just going to wait until we do our full crop and then we're going to come through and do it like that. Now, because we're going to be able to plant everything at the same time, we're going to be able to plant early. So we're going to get at least one growth stage ahead of time. We're actually going to stay on top of things. So we're going to be a day ahead of where we were this year in game. Why is that good? That is good because we can now double crop with cotton, soybeans and corn instead of just doing different fields altogether, or maybe we can double crop soybeans, but couldn't double crop corn as well. That is a huge, huge deal. And I, I hope you understand that because that is big for us. That means we get a whole lot more. It means this field right here will do the job of two fields. Those fields over there definitely be doing the job of two fields. The thing is, I said we were going to do logging. I still can't afford the logging machinery. I thought I was going to be able to. I just can't right now. But I wish I could. Oh, I wish I could so bad. Just can't afford it. Can't buy it. So, well, what's our uh, what's the game plan there? Well, we just kind of sit and wait. More or less, we just sit and wait. But between now and the waiting time... Oh, that header's off. I'm going to figure that out. Between now and that time, we've got to get some sugar beets out. Right before we do that, I am going to come through and we're going to fertilize this field real fast and we are going to stick a plow on it. I may plow with this tractor and we'll just turn the plow around backwards, but more than likely we'll stick it on the Case Magnum 7200 series that we've got. Probably just going to do that and make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Boom. Oh, I missed a little bit. Back it up, back it up. There we go. Got it. Again, I'm fertilizing now. So that whenever it comes through and we seed or we plant, whatever we decide to do for the next crop in here, we won't have to worry about it. So we'll only have to do one more fertilization seed. So while it sits through the rest of the winter, it'll sit on two fertilization states. So as soon as it gets warm and it starts growing again, we can pop back in here and we can give it one more fertilization state and it will be all done. At least that is the game plan. It is time. 
One thing I totally forgot is I can just go blink back and forth through here, go right through the fence, which is kind of nice. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's get everybody unfolded, everybody undone, whatever needs to happen here. Let's get that done. Let's see, we can raise and lower that. Turn that on. Pipe goes out. We don't need the pipe to go out, though. And rock through. And again, okay, so it's looking like... Oh, I'm stuck already. Come on, man. It's looking like the wheels on here will not destroy the ground if, uh, well, as long as I'm driving on it, doesn't it? So that is good. That is very, very good news. So I'll tell you what we might do. I'm not sure if that's going to be worth it or not. I was going to say we might come through here and uh, just use the uh, use the front mower. Front mower? Mower? Yeah, mower. <laughs> we'll use the topper to take all the tops off, and we'll just get the sugar beets on a second pass. The only problem with these sugar beets, and it's going to be a problem, all right. Oh, I was getting through here. Yup. There we go. So there's, uh, there's pass one. That was painful. And we're 65, really? 65% full already. Uh-uh. No way. Are you aware of how long on average that field would take us? Going 65% every single pass. A lot. That's how much. Guess how much time I've got? Not that much. A lot is is not even in, in the vocabulary of the amount of time that I have. Therefore, we shall do it like this, and this shall be fun. Plus, with this being, what, like five meters, something like that, we're going to get almost twice as much per pass, and I'm not going to have to unfill it, because this is a little bit cheaty. Not, not a whole lot. It's not crazy bad. Like some, the, everything else I have. But it's it. No, it is. No, that's that's also a lie. This is crazy. <laughs> so this is how I'm going to do this field. I know you're probably not happy you see this. I don't care. It was going to take forever. And it, I do not have forever. <laughs> Speaking of forever, my graphics card. I know it's only been two weeks, but I feel like it's still taking forever to get done. Guess what? I haven't heard anything back. Also, guess what? I got a new one. Oh, yeah. And I listen to you guys. I got the 2080 Ti. The biggest, baddest boy that you could possibly buy other than like a um, Titan card. Yeah. No, we, we got that one. It was not cheap, but I'm hoping that it works. I got a uh, third-party card. I did not get a Founder's Edition of this one um, because I own two graphics cards currently with, uh, with the exclusion of the new one. And one of them was a Founder's Edition. One of them was a regular card. And or Founder's Edition one was a, uh, a third-party card. Guess what? Third-party card? No issues ever. Uh, and I've had very good luck with all of the Gigabyte stuff. So I ended up getting a Gigabyte uh, overseed fun stuff. <laughs> it's 11 gig card, so I'm pretty excited about that. Nonetheless, let's continue to get this field done. Uh, I planted this field in hopes that we could feed this to our pigs. However, since it's not giving us an option for selling to the pigs, what we may end up doing is just selling later on. I need to find out what the price is looking like for sugar beets, and we shall go from there. But this is not going to take long at all. Okie dokie, we are all done here. I'm just going to pull forward and let it fill up. There we go. There's our first run, 21,000 liters in there. I believe we got somewhere around 44 or 45,000 liters off that field. It's a good amount. We're going to dump everything because we don't have great prices right now. We have pretty close to what I think we're going to be getting at the end of everything, but it's not quite where I want it, at least not yet. So we're going to take that time. We're not going to worry about it. We're just going to bring this down. And pull back forward again. And should fill back up fairly quickly, which it does. And we've got 2,800 liters left in here. So that meant we had 44,800 liters total. Not too bad at all. We're going to finish this up, get that done. And then it's kind of a waiting game until tomorrow, unless we can find some contracts. 
No contracts. Zero contracts, in fact, so that's one thing that we don't even have to worry about being an option, because it's not an option. There are no contracts to be had. But we can still finish this up, so we gotta fit we gotta plow this field. We're gonna have to plow 27, both of which will not take very long at all. Uh, the one thing that I'm kind of concerned about is we've got a lot of fields ready to harvest. I say that. We got three fields ready to harvest. But we don't have any contracts for those fields. So that's kind of annoying because I would really like to get in there and run some contracts. But unfortunately can't do that. So we're just going to finish up our stuff that we've got to do here. And then we're going to take a look at our pig food situation. We, I think we're going to have to go buy some more. Yeah. We've got 160 grand, so we got plenty of money, but our pig food situation is looking low right now. If you guys missed the idea here, the idea is that regardless of what kind of crop we have or whatever, we will not feed the pigs that crop. We will feed the pigs pig food. The reason being is because total, I can get more money for all the crops together and just buy what pig food I need than vice versa, especially now that we've gotten extra pallets in. It is so much cheaper to buy the pig food than it is to just feed them what we get because we're just wasting money at that point. Here's something fun that you guys can try if you guys are using this plow at home or on your game safe. So when you get to the end of a uh, run, just back it up. Most tractors can go somewhere between 7 and 11, 12, maybe even 13 miles per hour backwards. And this plow will go 10 miles an hour backwards. So you could just plow it up. You actually save yourself time turning around at the end. Boom, there's that. And then we've got two little spots here. And then this whole field is done. Boop. Just like that. Pigs are running low on food. So we will go and we'll get a couple thousand liters of pig food. I don't think we've got any in storage. We can check that. It's very easy to check but I'm pretty sure we don't have any in storage. So we'll go get a whole trailer load, 21,000 liters, and be done like that. We do need to lime this field right here. So that is one thing that we're gonna have to do right now. Let's see, could do the worker deal. Just hire a worker and let the worker do as much as they can. They come in and fill in the blanks after them. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Not a lot of overlap, so that is good, however, we might get to the end before it runs out. Oh boy. Yep, that didn't last long at all. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I've i been trying not to use worker, buy, XYZ, whatever. I've been trying not to use that. We might need to use that just on this field and maybe we'll come back through at a later time and increase capacity, get another lime spread or something like that. Uh, I don't think we've spread much lime. I don't think I've spread lime on any of these fields, to be honest with you. I'm trying to think on it, and I don't believe that I have. Well, let's kind of aim for where we were. And I'm going to go set worker, buy fertilizer, own, purchase, just like that. It's going to cost us some money. I'm not excited about it. But it will benefit us as far as time goes at the end of the day. So... What's your time worth? Mine is worth how much ever <laughs> lime costs. I know I filled it up to the top, but it is what it is, isn't it? One last thing to do today before we take off. So I was looking at this area here and I'm looking through here and I'm like, okay, so this just kind of continues on to this field there. Well, what if it didn't? And by that, I mean, what if it just continued through? So it was all one field. Let me show you what I mean. Let's bring this down. Let's pull up our help window. Allow create fields. Let's drop this down right there. And then we simply follow this to here. And so now both of these fields are one. I was trying to figure out what to use this field for. I was like, ah, fine, I'll just sell it. I was like, it's so cheap. There's no point to sell this field. It's like $43,000. It's not a whole lot when it comes to fields. I'm like, okay, well, what can I do with it? Nothing. That's just it. Can't do a darn thing with it. So what we've done is we've just extended it. Now, together, these may be one field, but it is way better together than it was just by themselves. 
So now we've got one, ah, I'm not sure I would call it a super field because it definitely is not, but it is very, very useful. Plus we've got the area in between. So this whole area now has been conjoined and is one field. How many times can I say that over and over again? I'm trying to find other words to say, <laughs> but we're gonna have to lime it, uh, of course. But if we bring this up, there we go, and fold. Oh, I keep getting confused. So now, this whole area, boop, comes to down here. I wish I could take out the pole in the middle of the field, but it just kinda is what it is, I think. There is no way around that. At least, at least none that I can see. But that is really cool, and I'm happy about the turnout of that. That's all right. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you already, please subscribe. If you got questions, drop them down in the comment section below. And make sure you check the other comments as well. Maybe someone has asked the same question that you're going to ask, but I've answered them already. Let's so go check that out. Uh, as far as the release, again, I have no idea when this is going to be released. I'm not even sure that the man himself knows when this is going to be released. So. Uh, it is anyone's guess. I foresee we will see Welker Farms in testing before we see this in testing. But with all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.